Patrick, very excited to have you. So what are three things you want people to know about uh, Yakna IQ? Um, well, number one, I want to say it's 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 purpose-built use cases on top of a, a recognized channel CPQ engine. I think that's the first thing to talk about, given that we're on a, a CPQ podcast here. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that what that means is that a channel CPQ engine extends across all the constituents of the channel, from the vendor to the distributor to the reseller to the customer, something we call VDRC. That's number two. And then number three, uh, it's secure. Um, so while all the constituents can see and modify that element that we're passing through the through the engine itself, um, they're looking at it through their own individual lens based on their margins and terms and conditions, et cetera. But their proprietary data, that's protected from outside actors and others on the platform. So those are the top three things I'd want them to take away. Excellent. And I think one thing which is very important for every customer is basically to find out What are the three major benefits that I can expect from using this software? So the number one thing we hear is the reduced time to produce these quotes at all levels at VDRC, right? So where it was taking them an hour, maybe even two hours to, to, to and sometimes even weeks to, 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 to give some of these quotes out and then distribute them down along the channel. We're, 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 we're putting that down almost instantaneously on the automation side and even on the, the time to change it. So it's really the reduced time to produce quotes across uh, all, all levels of the uh, of the channel. And number two is they see their um, annual renewal rates increasing and their on-time renewal rates increasing. That's also a metric that is very important to you know, virtually all of our customers. And then the third one is uh, greater adoption of programs through automation. So where they may have marketing programs for upsell or cross-selling, by automating those programs, you don't have to rely on the resellers or that last mile seller to, to know all of your programs. You can programmatically look at what they're ordering and what they're getting quotes on, and then put those through a filter, if you will, that uh, have marketing programs to see what qualifies particular programs and send them back um, upsell, uh, cross-sell quotes as well. So those are the three things that our customers see uh, most out of our platform and they implement it. Excellent. And one thing, a term we use here in this interview is the channel CPQ, right? So, but we've never <laughs> defined actually what does it mean? Uh, do you have a chance to do that in a couple of sentences to quickly explain what the channel CPQ is? Yeah, I'll, I'll try to do my best here as well because it is a new term, I think. Um, and it's something that uh, Yagna is, is really promoting. But typically a CPQ engine is between two entities, right? You request a quote and, and you want to make sure that it has all the, the right, configurations through it, et cetera. But it's usually between just two entities, whether it's a vendor to a distributor or maybe a distributor to a reseller. A channel CPQ allows us to, to put all of the entities into the CPQ and all of them be able to make modifications to this element, which is the quote itself, or sometimes it's a lead, by the way. Maybe it's not a quote yet, but it's a lead. And you can make modifications, changes to it, and get visibility um, through the lens of everyone along that uh, along the channel. So whether it's uh, you want to see what your margins look like. You want to see what your terms and conditions, maybe it's a currency conversion. If anybody makes modifications, you will see that same element through your own lens. So that's, 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 uh, that's the best I'm going to do for you right now, I think. <laughs> Excellent. And what, what kind of customers uh, do use this channel CPQ? You have some examples for, for me here. So we have been focused on the technology customers, right? So um, the one that we talk about a lot and uh, have some visibility with is Cisco. That's the one that we talk a little bit about. VMware is another one. And VMware is interesting because they're also doing, we expect them to do a transformation from um, from a, a perpetual licensing model, which is a renewal to a subscription licensing model, which is kind of an upsell when you think about it, right? So you're doing some upsell and cross-sell is there as well. But most, most basically, Mainly, it's going to be in the technology arena because that's where a lot of our expertise and our, our customer base from some of our earlier products, whether it's our, our Wi-Fi platform, et cetera, uh, where we have a lot of our roots from. Got it. So now the, the last question I have is really looking forward a little bit, right? So roadmap-wise, the next 12 <laughs> months, as much as you can share, obviously, only. But what should uh, customers expect from you in the next 12 months? Well, if anybody who's worked with me or worked for me, you know, in the last few decades, they know that I'm big on integrations. And so I think that you're going to see more integrations with other channel platforms, whether that's uh, greater and deeper integrations with salesforce.com and, and other types of platforms like that. But channel platforms, whether it's a marketing platform, I think you'll see a lot more of those happening as we become not only our own ecosystem, but we're part of the greater ecosystem. And that's going to be driven uh, by that. The other thing I think you'll see is more reseller adoption 
adoption. Um, while we were originally focused with these products and selling them to the vendors, because that's where the real need is, the real value is coming in with reseller adoptions. Resellers don't necessarily want just another portal, but if they can get a value out of that portal through multiple distributors and multiple vendors, then we can drive more value to everybody upstream, if you will, in the channel model. So greater reseller adoption, that's something we're heavily focused on right now. And then of course, um, we'll talk about use cases, but I expect we'll be adding more and more use cases. The one that's really intriguing to me right now is uh, lead sharing. Um, I've, I've been at a vendor myself many times and there's nothing worse than going to a trade show or getting people on your marketing, whatever it is. You have these huge thousands sometimes of leads and you don't know how to get them to that last mile seller, right? So the way that we pass renewals, we can pass leads to the platform as well and get visibility to the vendor. Are those leads being distributed to the right reseller? Are they being acted on by that reseller? Maybe we need to pull them back and give it to another reseller because they haven't been acted on or the wrong one. Or we give the ability for the reseller to say, this is a great lead, not a good lead. Here's what happened and get all that information instantaneously back to where they came from and be able to measure their marketing program. So that's a really exciting use case that we're working on right now. And then I think the, the, the other one that we'll talk about is uh, more global system integrator partnerships. Um, our use cases are being included now in larger strategic digital transformation projects. And this is right in the sweet spot of what a lot of global system integrators are working on. And so we, we, are, we are looking to be partnering more and more with global system integrators as they start to roll out these digital transformations and we become a part of that, uh, part of that journey that they're bringing their, their vendor customers through. So that's some exciting stuff happening in the next 12 months. It's an exciting time to be here at Yagna. And it's always exciting time to be working in the channel, channel distribution marketplace.